There are no temples in our mission boundaries. The closest temple is the Fiji Suva Temple, which is actually dedicated while I was there. Um, and we had a family in my second to last area, you know, yes, yeah, second to last area, who actually went and uh, was sealed for time and all eternity in that temple. And oh, that's actually a really neat story. The um, brother and sister, in Vanuatu, you call everybody mama and papa. They're, we'd never called people brother or sister. And so there was one mom, one mama named Mama Susan, and her husband was named Papa Isaac. And they had um, two children at home. One was their actual daughter, and their other one was a grandson. Um, but their daughter's name was Tina. And the Suva T Fiji Temple was dedicated, and they decided that they wanted to, sit, to go to the temple to be sealed for forever. And now that the Suva Fiji Temple was a little bit closer than in New Zealand, it made it a little bit more possible. And in Vanuatu, the members only have to pay for their passport, uh, which is about $30, and then the church will pay for the remaining fee. And $30, though, is a lot of money for the people in Vanuatu because they're so poor. Um, and they will stay for years to be able to have that money to go. And so Mama Susan and Papa Isaac saved up their money so that the two of them and their daughter Tina could go to the Fiji temple and be sealed as a family. And they got all prepared and they were super excited to go and we were all excited for them. And then one day Tina came home from school and she said, I have exams the week that we're planning to be in in Fiji. And she said that if she went to Fiji, she would not be able to pass that grade and therefore she'd have to repeat a year of high school. And so her dad went in and he talked to the teachers and they told him the same thing. And that if Tina was not there for that week of finals, she would not be able to continue on with her friends to the next grade. And so that night, Mom Susan and Papa Isaac sat down Tina and they said, Tina, we know that this is what Heavenly Father wants us to do. We know that he wants us to be sealed together as a family so that we can receive all the blessings that he has. And they told Tina that it was her choice that they were going to go to the temple, but Tina did not need to go unless she wanted to. It was her choice. And so through lots of tears, Tina decided that she wanted to go to the temple with her family. And so the three of them left and they spent the week in Fiji where they were sealed for time and all eternity together as a family. And I will never, ever, ever forget the day that Papa Isaac um, came back and we were sitting at the church waiting for a district meeting to start and he walked in uh, through the gate. And we jumped up and we ran over to him and said, Papa Isaac, how was, how was Fiji? How was, how was the temple? And he had the biggest smile on his face. He said, oh, it was wonderful, it was wonderful, we loved it. It was so amazing, so beautiful, so special. And then he said, sisters, you will never believe what just happened. We said, what, Papa, what? And he said that he had just returned back from speaking with Tina's teachers at her school. And that they had agreed to let her take all the exams that she had missed the week before. So Tina was able to take all of those tests and she was able to pass and continue on to the next grade with all of her friends. She didn't end up having to repeat. And that was such a testimony builder to me that Heavenly Father will, He looks after us. And when we do what is right, He will always provide a way for us to, to be successful. He loves us and He cares about us deeply. And he was worried about Tina and her family in Vanuatu, and, and he was able to help her um, be part of a miracle. <laughs>